So I'm imagining you developed an incredible focus to get to your level of success. Focus is one of the biggest things. It's being able to, to kind of always look at a situation and slow things down for yourself and, and to kind of break things down into compartments. One of the, when I went down to Clarkson University uh, my first year, I had never really played in front of a crowd bigger than, say, about 200. And our junior A games, we had small crowds, it was usually family. And so that when I went down to school, we were playing, we were going up to Wisconsin and playing in front of 11,000 fans. Or, wow. It was a really big thing. It's very easy to become overwhelmed by that. So our coach understood that and he was smart early on. Every, every season, the week before the season, he would, uh, have all, he would invite all the students that he, that he could get a hold of to come in and, and fill up our arena while we practiced. And he had the school band, which was 40 plus people, and it would get loud and, and crazy in there and really created that game situation feeling. So we would practice through that and, and just get acclimated to, the, to, to that type of atmosphere so that when we did go out and play in our first game, it wasn't a culture shock and we weren't overwhelmed by what was happening on the outside. Well, somebody told me early on, and I can't remember who it was, they told me that your brain can only really process two things at a time as, as when you're playing a sport. So your brain, will, your biggest priority has got to be the task that you're performing, your motor skills, the things you're, you're, you're doing with your body. So that's the, the process of your mind keep telling your muscles what to do. The second thing will be what your teammates are telling you on the ice. So you want to be they're communicating with you on the plays that are happening and makes the game easier. If you start letting if you hear a screaming coach on the bench yelling at you, that's going to create a third in your body. Now your mind is trying to determine which, how to prioritize this, and then now all of a sudden you throw in the crowd, and other teams on the other team that are trying to, uh, other players on the other team that are trying to incite you or get you off your game. So now you've got five factors, and you're trying to, you're, you're, your mind's trying to prioritize it. So yeah, the biggest thing was teaching your mind to block out those negative. Um, processes that you didn't need and just to focus on those two things your what you're performing and and your uh, and the teammates that were communicating go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization mp3 on how to perform under pressure i'm craig sigal the mental toughness trainer